Have you seen Pearl? It's a 2022 horror prequel to 2021's X. It's an origin story of Pearl, an isolated girl on her family's farm, with her devout mother and ailing father, until her lust for a glamorous life combined with the darkness within her is unleashed. It is 1918, and the film begins with Pearl dancing in her mother's dress until she is interrupted by her mother and told to feed the animals. Pearl heads to the barn and fantasizes about becoming a star while talking to Charlie the cow and Mary the lamb. A goose enters the barn. Pearl picks up a pitchfork and stabs it. She then heads over to a pond and feeds it to Theta, the alligator. While preparing for supper, Pearl's mother sternly orders her to fetch her father, who has been paralyzed by the flu pandemic. Some time later, Pearl is reading a letter from her husband, Howard, who is away at war. She takes a bath next to her father, while expressing how she wants to be a dancer, like the girls in the moving pictures. Pearl's mother sends her to pick up her father's medicine, morphine sulfate. Pearl uses the change to go watch a film while taking a swig of the medicine. Afterwards, while reading a pamphlet on the film in an alley around the corner, a young man who is the projectionist of the theater greets her by offering her a cigarette. She expresses how she likes dancing, and he says that she's pretty enough to be on the screen, while inviting her to see the second show. Pearl tells him that her mother is expecting her, but before she leaves, the young man cuts a frame out of a film reel and hands it to her, telling her to come back any time. While cycling back, a gust of wind blows her gift into a wheat field. Pearl searches for the souvenir, but discovers a scarecrow instead. She takes it down, puts its hat on, and dances around with it. She eventually starts to kiss it, but suddenly sees the projectionist's face. She screams, I'm married, but starts to ride the scarecrow until she climaxes. Pearl returns home and her mother tells her that her father needs changing and to clean up as she could be covered in germs. While washing, she pinches her father and clutches his neck while asking if he is still in there. During supper, her mother asks her where the change is from the medicine. Pearl lies, saying she brought some candy. Her mother takes her dinner away from her, saying she is careless and that they hardly have money to feed themselves. The next day while milking Charlie, her sister-in-law Misty and mother-in-law pay them a visit. They bring them a roast pig, but Pearl's mother rejects the gift, saying they don't take charity. Meanwhile, Misty informs Pearl that there is a dance audition at the local church on Saturday, putting together a troupe that will travel around the state during Christmas holidays. Excited about this event, Pearl looks at her pamphlet in her hat and fantasizes about herself dancing on stage. Later that evening, she puts on one of her mother's dresses and visits the theater. The projectionist invites her in, and Pearl tells him about the audition, and he encourages her to live her life. He then shows her a film she hasn't seen before, a porno he got from France. He explains that this is reality, Pearl replies she doesn't like her reality on the farm, and he suggests she leave for New York City or even Europe. Pearl says one day her parents will be gone, and she can do what she wants. The young man asks what if that's too late, to which Pearl replies, if only her parents would just die. The projectionist is taken aback. Pearl thanks him and leaves. After arriving home, Pearl hears her mother sobbing in bed and checks on her. The next day, she wheels her father out to the pond. She tells her father that she won't stay here much longer. She adds that she loves him, but this is no way to live. Her mother suddenly interrupts her, asking what she is doing. Pearl replies that they are just talking and asks her why she hates her. Her mother expresses that she only wants what's best. And Pearl asks 
when does she get what she wants? Her mother replies, one day she will understand. It's not about what you want. It's about making the best of what you have. Pearl finds Theta's nest and takes an egg back to the barn. She crushes the egg in her hand while imagining Howard exploding. While having supper during a stormy night, Pearl's mother places her film pamphlet on the table. She tells her to isolate herself in the bunkhouse as she could have germs. Pearl then tells her mother that she wants to go to the dance audition. Her mother asks her why, and Pearl says she wants to know if she is good enough for something more than this life. Her mother calls her ungrateful, but Pearl continues saying she will regret it if she doesn't try, and that her mother doesn't know what she is capable of. Her mother replies that she does know, as she's seen what Pearl does in private, and that people would be frightened of her true self, just as she is. The discussion escalates and her mother angrily expresses her regret for having to be her father's care and how she has lost everything. She finally asks Pearl what she wants, and Pearl replies she just doesn't want to end up like her. Her mother slaps her, and Pearl, in a fury, slaps her back. A struggle ensues, which leads to her mother's dress catching fire. Pearl's mother is engulfed, and Pearl douses the flames with some water from a pot of corn. Pearl then drags her terribly burnt mother down into the basement. Her father stares at her in fear as she rushes out of the house and heads to the theater where she kisses the projectionist. After some passionate sexy time, Pearl dreams of herself on stage again as a crowd cheers for her. She sees Howard, her father, and her mother who slowly removes her mask to reveal a horribly disfigured face. Pearl is awoken by her nightmare and rushes out of bed while telling the projectionist she needs to prepare for her audition. He offers her a ride home. On the road, she sees a soldier returning home from the war. Pearl asks the projectionist to wait outside while she rushes in to find her poor father still in the same position. Outside, the projectionist notices the roast pig covered in maggots. Pearl invites him in and introduces her to her father, and then takes him upstairs and kisses him in bed. He hears some noise from downstairs, but Pearl ignores it. Eventually, he can't take it anymore and goes to investigate. He notices the mess in the kitchen, but Pearl tells him that their dog made the mess, and that's what the noise is from the basement. Pearl takes the projectionist to the barn and tells him all the names of the animals. He asks her what the dog's name is, to which she replies they don't have a dog. The projectionist, becoming increasingly weirded out, tells Pearl that he has to go to work. Pearl, noticing that he has suddenly turned cold, starts to question him, eventually screaming, asking what he has seen and what she has done wrong. The projectionist tells her that she is scaring him, wishes her the best of luck for her audition, and turns to leave. Pearl grabs the pitchfork, walks around to his car, shouts he's not leaving her here, and stabs him twice in the chest. The vehicle rolls into the field. Pearl chases after it, roaring that nobody will keep her here, drags him out of the vehicle, and sticks the pitchfork straight into his mouth while screaming some more. Pearl heads back inside, checks on her mother, cleans up her father, and dresses up for the audition. She then twirls for her father, who starts to cry. She thanks him, tells him that he is loved, and strangles him. She then rolls the projectionist in his car into the pond while saying Obervar, and Theta comes to clean up. Pearl then meets up with Misty at the church, who is very nervous. Pearl keeps repeating that it has to be her who is picked. As each girl is called in, Misty asks Pearl to switch places with her as she is too anxious, and she agrees. Pearl is called in and walks on stage in front of the three judges. She puts on her best performance. A male judge thanks her 
but says that it's going to be a no, as they want someone younger, blonder, with that X factor. Pearl is shocked and starts to cry as the judges turns into the projectionist, Howard, her father, and her crispy mother. Pearl becomes more and more distraught, screaming for another chance and that she is a star. Afterwards, Pearl ugly cries out loud, around the back of the building. Misty approaches her and offers her to take her home. Misty notices the even more rotten pig outside as they enter the house. Misty pours them both a glass of milk and tries to console Pearl. Pearl confesses that there might be something wrong with her, something missing. Misty encourages her to talk about it and pretend like she is talking to her husband. Pearl does so, confessing to marrying Howard for a ticket off the farm, killing little animals, hating Howard for leaving her, cheating on him with the projectionist, then killing him, and her parents. Pearl adds that now she just wants to love Howard and start their life together. Misty, not expecting this confession, tries to gingerly leave. Pearl says she is happy she got the part, and Misty says she didn't, but eventually confesses that she did. Pearl then asks her if she is scared of her, and if she will tell anyone, to which Misty says of course not, and exits the house. Pearl follows her outside and casually picks up an axe. In a panic, Misty starts to scream for help while running, but trips in her heels. Pearl swings an axe into her back, but Misty keeps stumbling forward, so Pearl axes her two more times until she falls. Misty pleads with her, saying she will do anything she wants. Pearl tells her it's not about what she wants anymore. It's about making the best of what she has and then finishes her off. Pearl heads down into the basement, puts her crispy mother's arms around herself, and lays her head in her mother's bosom. A German lullaby is sung by her mother's voice as a montage plays of Pearl chopping up Misty, feeding her to Theda, and setting up the table with a rotten pig with her dead parents in their seats. A military truck pulls up outside the farm, dropping off Howard. He rushes to the house, calling for Pearl. He enters the dining room and stares in horror at Pearl's dead parents and the rotting food. Pearl greets him with a jug of homemade lemonade, saying she is so happy he is home, and holds a prolonged horrific smile until tears stream down her face. Now you've seen it, please like and subscribe. And remember kids, if you're trying to seduce a woman and she wishes her parents are dead, you should probably get the fuck out.